welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Madison. Today's vlog is going to be, as you see, a realistic night routine vlog. These are some of my favorite vlogs to film just because I love me a good cozy night at home and I've been in need of like some self-care. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me throughout my nights. I haven't filmed a routine video I feel like in a while. I think the last one I filmed was a morning routine, um, but you guys seem to like them and I love filming my routines and back whenever I was working from home my whole channel consisted of a lot of just like healthy routine videos so if you guys like these type of videos I do have a whole playlist of all sorts of healthy routines um, especially like a lot of like weekend like Sunday get my life together routines those are always my favorite to film which reminds me I need to film more of those um, but instead of doing like a voiceover type night routine i thought let's just like keep it chatty keep it real keep it realistic and i'll just take you guys along with me so i just got off of work and just pulled up to my house and just wanted to start off by saying hello i hope you guys are all doing great i have had a very good week of school but a very tired one i feel like you know when you know a break is coming up and I feel like your body just like starts to shut down because you're just already like in break mode and I am very lucky the school that I work at has a two week long spring break so I've never had a spring break that long. I think the longest our breaks were were like a week so I'm very excited for two whole weeks off just to like sleep in and relax. I'm not going on any trips or anything since Kyle's working but just going to take that time to relax and I think it's very much needed. <laughs> I don't really know what my plan is for tonight. Kyle is home right now, but he leaves in about an hour to go to work. He's been working night shifts all week. If you're new here, my fiance Kyle is a first year intern, a resident in an anesthesia program. He's a doctor. And so he's very, very busy. His schedule is crazy, especially during intern year. If you know, it's wild. So he's working days, he's working nights, he's working 24 hour shifts sometimes. I never know when I'm gonna get to see him the next week. So I'm gonna go in and hang out with him for like an hour and then we'll just kind of see where the night takes us. for a little bit we always hang out for like an hour <laughs> whenever I get home um Kyle just left for work though I immediately change into comfy clothes because I cannot stand being in anything else whenever I'm home so I went to do a, just a quick little yoga flow I like to get some sort of movement in every day whether it's like a stretch or a walk I don't care I don't put a lot of pressure on myself to like go running or like weightlifting after work because I'm always so tired although that's great if you can fit that in um, but I am just gonna fit in a little stretch <laughs> just been going on to my active and fit now membership and I've talked a lot about this on Instagram it's really great it has online workouts so I just log into there and then they have all different workouts like yoga Pilates weight workouts and I'm just going to find a little stretch or yoga flow
you guys know but I feel like yoga has been that one constant in my life like I have been doing yoga since I was 18 ever since I started it it's just been something that makes me feel so good and no matter what phase of life I am in it's the perfect workout and obviously yoga can vary in its intensity like I wouldn't really call this a workout it was definitely more of just like a flow just a stretch I mean it got me really like warm got my heart rate up a little bit which is totally fine you don't always have to go crazy at the gym like lifting weights sprinting doing hit workouts to have a good workout i think as long as you're just doing something that your body will thank you for it's good enough so i highly recommend yoga i love it so much and i would love to teach yoga one day i've mentioned that before um i think a huge goal of mine in the next few years is to get my yoga teacher training certificate and be able to teach it on the side because i just love it i think it's so good for you and it has so many benefits physically and mentally with all things wedding coming up i have been really prioritizing my skincare lately just because obviously we all want that glowy, radiant skin on our wedding day. So I've been really taking my skincare more seriously and getting more medical grade facial treatments just to ensure that I'm doing everything I can to take care of my skin. That's just something I'm really passionate about right now. And I feel like you can really tell I've just been so much more confident not wearing makeup, just so much more confident in my own skin because it feels so glowy and radiant and fresh. And I feel like my overall skin tone has just been a little bit more even. And yeah, I feel like all the facial treatments and the products that I've been using have been paying off. And I wanted to mention because I know I got comments about my skin on the last video, a product that I feel like has actually been helping my skin the most is the new Peak Radiant Skin Duo. I am obsessed, you guys. I feel like it has just changed the game for me. Adding this duo to your daily routine will firm, brighten, reduce fine lines, and deeply hydrate the skin from within. And I feel like I have noticed that so much within the first couple weeks of using these products. I feel like especially the Sun Goddess Matcha has helped brighten and clear my skin the most just because it contains antioxidants and chlorophyll that detoxifies the skin from within. And then the BT Fountain has helped hydrate and improve elastic reduce fine lines with its clinically proven ceramides and hyaluronic acid. I know this is a night routine, but I personally have been taking these products usually in the morning on an empty stomach, just like first thing in the morning, whip it up while I'm getting ready or when I'm about to head out the door. Um, but you could also take it after a workout or even at the end of the day if you really wanted to. I just wanted to mention Peak just because I feel like it is such a game changer when it comes to taking care of yourself within because ultimately I feel like my skin is noticeably more dull whenever I'm not taking care of myself physically and from within as well. The Sun Goddess Matcha is quadruple toxin screened for purity and the BT Fountain is formulated with the highest quality and most bioavailable ingredients. They are vegan, no added sugar, preservatives, or artificial ingredients. For a limited time, you'll get 15% off plus free shipping and you'll get a complimentary starter kit which comes with the beaker and the frother. So if you guys want to try this out for yourself, if you have been wanting to take your skincare more seriously, I highly recommend checking out Peak. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. just been sitting here editing, going through some emails <laughs> just on my computer for the last hour and I am really hungry so I'm about to eat. Um, whenever I'm home alone and Kyle's not here, I'm very lazy with my meals and I'll literally just find anything around the house that is quick, easy, and simple to make. It's not always the healthiest, um, but that's just how I am when I'm home alone. I don't feel the pressure. I don't feel the pressure of having to cook for two. So I'm just going to go find something in the kitchen to snack on and then I'm going to finish 
The Bachelor because yesterday or a couple days ago, two days ago, the new Bachelor episode was on and I need to watch it. Let me know, comment down below if you guys are watching Zach's season. I have a lot of opinions on it, but let me know what you guys think of it. I'm actually really enjoying this season. Not loving Zach, but I'm enjoying this season. So let me know if you guys are watching it. And the puppy noises begin. This is literally just me up all night long. She never has that energy. She just plays with toys constantly. Super exciting. We spent all last night getting wedding invites done. They are ready to be shipped out, which is just making it feel all the more real that people are going to start getting these in the mail. So I'm so excited. I'll post a picture of our invites, um, kind of like the design of them after they've been sent out and all of our guests have received them, obviously blurting out the address and date and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm so excited for people to get these. I got these beautiful tulips from the store the other day and they are all troopy, which I know is normal for tulips, but it makes me sad. <laughs> they look so sad on our kitchen table. I did hear there's like a trick you can poke a hole in the base and it's supposed to help. So I did that just to see maybe in the next couple days they'll perk up. But yeah, these are sad little tulips. So if you guys have been around for a long time, you know, this is the plant that I had in my classroom. And this little update, she's still thriving. She was in our sun room for a while, um, but we actually ended up moving her out here when we put our Christmas tree up and we just never ended up moving her back. But I kind of like that we have this little pop of green over here in the corner. And yeah, she is still doing so good, growing so tall. I swear that she has like a new leaf every single month. Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss you back Reach your letters and look at your pictures. Oh God, I... Just a humble brag moment. I have been so good about flossing my teeth. I did not floss <laughs> very well. I feel like all throughout college I would floss my teeth like once a month, if that, which is not good and I'm embarrassed to say that but I use these floss picks and I know they're not the best I know it's better to use the full floss <laughs> the, like the strand of it but I use these just because they're easy and convenient so just do what works for you because it's better than not flossing and I've been so good I haven't missed a single day of flossing in like two years guys like it changes your life it changes your gums my gums are so healthy and I feel like my mouth is just cleaner so this is your nightly reminder to floss your teeth. Also, a game changer that Kyle and I, I think we discovered this a couple years ago also, we use tongue scrapers, kind of gross. You're grossed out by mouth stuff, sorry. This is just like the best discovery in the world. It's exactly what it's called. It scrapes your tongue because there's a lot of bacteria that lives on your tongue and obviously it's good to brush your tongue but that often doesn't get it all. So. We use tongue scrapers every single night, sometimes in the morning as well. Just gets off all that bacteria that sits on your tongue all day. And guys, I feel like my mouth is so much cleaner. My breath just feels fresher. So <laughs> just little dental hygiene tips for Madison. Tongue scraper, floss every night. getting into bed it changes every night but usually what I do when I get into bed if Kyle's not here is I read some pages from the Daily Stoic which I mentioned this in a video before but it's just a book with a bunch of different meditations advice wisdom passed down over the years I bought this off of Amazon and I love it so much I didn't want a journal just because I don't always feel like writing but I did want something 
that would just help like induce thought and give me something to read and kind of put my head in a good space before bed. So yeah, if you're interested, I love this so much. It's just from Amazon. Um, and you can do it like at the beginning of the year. It is like dated. So you can do one a day if you wanted to. I sometimes will just like read ahead if I'm really into it and read a few pages a day. Um, since I didn't get it at the beginning of the year, I just started from the beginning of the year and just read like multiple pages a night to catch up. But yeah, I really love this to read right before bed. It just puts you in a good mental state. Then of course I have my Mio girl. Nala actually sleeps underneath the bed. I <laughs> did not do that to exclude her. She prefers to be alone in her own space under the bed. Then I have a very specific night routine that I've been doing as long as I can remember. I take my birth control, gotta do what you gotta do, put in my retainer, put on chapstick, and then put on hand lotion because that's just it's my routine. I literally, I don't know how long I've been doing this. Years and years. I do this every single night and I don't feel complete without it. Like I could never stay the night at someone's house if I forgot this stuff just because I feel like if I went to bed without my retainer, without chapstick on, without lotion on my hands, like I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. I'd be so uncomfortable. It's so funny how you get like set in your ways, like set in your routines and can't go on without them. So this is my little night routine. Comment down below what your non-negotiables are at nighttime. Like what do you need to do before bed to fall asleep? I saw this post and it was like, me in high school and it was like falling asleep on like a frat guy's couch with someone's jacket as a blanket and then it was like me now can't fall asleep without my like 30 products to put on before bed with the fan on medium low and my silk pillowcase <laughs> and it's like so funny because I really do need all of that stuff to be able to fall asleep now. I have no idea how when I was in high school I was able to just like bounce from my friends couches and just like stay the night at their house now i need my girls with me to cuddle all my necessities and that's just what being almost 30 does to you i guess well that is my whole night routine it is nothing glamorous nothing exciting but i love bringing you guys along with me throughout my days and my nights and just showing you guys the real stuff, the realities of life, because this is real. Not every night is different and exciting and full of like super healthy, productive routines. Sometimes it's just simple, which is what I need right now in life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this night routine. I hope that you got some inspiration from it, maybe some entertainment from it, if anything. I'm so grateful for all of you. I love and appreciate you all. Please comment down below any other video ideas that you guys have for me. I can definitely film more routine videos if you guys like this one. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video.